Imagine you live in a world where your name holds so much power and authority that even countries worldwide are intimidated by your mere presence. Living life in such a royal way is the way of Roosevelt's family in the epic tales of American dynasties. The Roosevelt name blazes like a beacon of unyielding brilliance. Few clans have engraved their names so profoundly into the heart of American society that the politics and economy are in their control. Sprung from Dutch settlers in 17th century New York, this extraordinary family is the epitome of American nobility. Their tale isn't a mere lineage. It's a saga of dominion and sway that goes even before the birth of the United States. Let's start this video with the birth of the Roosevelt legacy. Our journey takes us back to 1650, a century before the birth of the United States, as C.L. Martinson Van Roosevelt, the first Roosevelt ancestor, steps onto the shores of New Amsterdam, the city destined to evolve into the bustling metropolis of New York. In 1652, C.L. Martinson seized a substantial slice of prime land in what is now Midtown Manhattan. It was a vast expanse, encompassing over 50 acres, stretching from present-day Lexington Avenue to Fifth Avenue, and spanning from 29th Street to 35th Street. This audacious acquisition laid the foundation upon which the Roosevelt legacy was constructed. The names like Nicholas, Johannes, and Jacobus Roosevelt, who were the descendant of C.L. Martinson, are indelibly etched in history for their ability to leverage their land holdings and ascend to eminent positions in the political landscape of New York. Their accomplishments set the stage for the Roosevelt name to forever be linked with political might and financial titans. Johannes Roosevelt, in particular, possessed exceptional foresight, a trait that would become a hallmark of the family. The generations of Roosevelt continue to rise, weaving themselves into the elite circles of New York through strategic encounters with other mighty families and taking prized lands through various means. Then came the rise of Cornelius Roosevelt, the great-grandson of Johannes, whose impact on the family's wealth and empire was simply explosive. Cornelius was involved in hardware imports, but his business acumen led him to the lucrative plate glass industry. However, he didn't stop there. Cornelius ventured into the realm of finance, becoming the founding director of the Chemical Bank of New York, a precursor to today's J.P.'s Morgan Chase & Co. His financial might allowed him to stand alongside the leading millionaires of his era, such as William B. Astor and Peter Lorillard. Now came the rise of Roosevelt as an old money family. Across the East River, Isaac Roosevelt, who was Franklin D. Roosevelt's great-great-grandfather, rose as a prominent sugar refiner in New York City. His political career surpassed all of his predecessors, and he played pivotal roles in the New York State Assembly and Constitutional Convention. Yet, his wealth was rooted in the painful history of Caribbean slave labor, a legacy shaping Hyde Park Roosevelt's influence. But his son, James Roosevelt, continued the family's political legacy in New York City and strengthened his feet in the world of politics. The era of the Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt was a force of nature. In 1884, he faced a tragedy when his firstborn daughter, Alice Lee, came into the world. Instead of being a joyful event, he was cruelly subjected to the loss of two of his most comforting relations. The first one was his mother, who had to leave him because of death by typhoid fever, and then his beloved wife, Alice, to the relentless clutches of renal complications, all within the sanctuary of their beloved home. His grief was profound, but Theodore had to immerse himself in his political duties for the following four months. However, the call of the untamed wilderness, with its promise of solace, was irresistible. He embarked on a journey to the rugged Dakota Badlands, embracing the life of a cattle rancher and a frontier adventurer. It was amidst the vast plains that he sought refuge, finding solace in grizzly bear hunting and the pastoral care of his livestock. The harsh winter of 1887 to 1888 brought calamity to his cattle, prompting his return to the East Coast. There, he found a love that had been smoldering since his youth, Edith Kermit Caro. Their love story was a page right out of a romance novel that climaxed in a remote English ceremony in 1886. Together, they built their domestic haven in the enchanting surroundings of Sagamore Hill in Oyster Bay. Their family grew with the additions of another Theodore, Kermit, Ethel, Archibald, and Quentin, each carrying the Roosevelt name into the future. Theodore Roosevelt's Ascendance 
The year 1897 marked a pivotal moment in Theodore's career when President-elect William McKinley appointed him as the Assistant Secretary of the Navy. This position perfectly aligned with Theodore's unwavering belief in the important role of naval power in safeguarding the nation's defense. In 1898, the USS Maine explosion in Havana Harbor spurred Theodore into action. As acting Secretary of the Navy, he readied the Navy and sent Commodore George Dewey to confront Spain, setting the stage for the Philippines' invasion in the Spanish-American War. Theodore led the Rough Riders, a diverse group who valiantly stormed San Juan Hill. Their triumphant return secured his status as a military hero. Theodore Roosevelt's renown as a war hero made him a Republican Party focus in 1899 when he ran for the gubernatorial seat of New York. The fiercely contested election pitted him against Democrat Judge Augustus Van Vick, and Theodore's narrow victory was clinched with the influential support of Thomas C. Platt, who was a Republican stalwart. However, Theodore's progressive policies, such as taxing public utilities, strained his relationship with Platt resulting him into the vice presidency in 1900 to prevent his re-election as governor. Embracing the role, Theodore aimed for the presidency in 1904 and backed William McKinley as Republican candidate. He started on a whirlwind campaign, addressing over 3 million people and covering 20,000 miles via a specifically chartered train, delivering impassioned speeches in 500 locations across 24 states. That finally made him the president during legacy of Theodore Roosevelt. The impact of Theodore Roosevelt's legacy continues to reverberate through his descendants. Theodore Roosevelt IV, for instance, made a name for himself as an investment banker and an ardent environmentalist. His passion for conservation and sustainable practices is a testament to the family's commitment to the world's well-being. Likewise, Tweed Roosevelt was another great-grandson of President Theodore Roosevelt and served as the president and CEO of the Theodore Roosevelt Association. It was a non-profit dedicated to preserving President Theodore Roosevelt's enduring impact. He was a staunch advocate for ecological conservation and public duty. Among the descendants of Franklin D. Roosevelt, Mark Roosevelt has left his mark in the field of education. He served as the executive director of St. John's College in Annapolis from 2014 to 2018. Meanwhile, Kermit Roosevelt III gained recognition as a constitutional law professor at the University of Pennsylvania. Roosevelt, a family of contradictions. The Roosevelt family embodies the complexities and contradictions that often define American dynasties. They are a relentless, old money powerhouse that amasses vast wealth. They seize real estate and wield immense political influence with a voracious hunger. But they also embraced the concept of noblesse oblige an unwavering sense of responsibility towards their fellow citizens and the world at large. Despite their extreme wealth and influence, the Roosevelt dynasty is a story of relentless ambition, unparalleled achievement, and an enduring impact on the world. From their Dutch immigrant roots in 17th century New York to their continued influence today, the Roosevelts have been architects of American power and prosperity. They are a testament to the fact that the past, present, and future are interwoven in the tapestry of history. As we conclude our exploration of the Roosevelt family's epic legacy, we invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. If you found this historical narrative as captivating as we did, then check out the previous videos on elite protection, safeguarding the old money families. Please consider sharing it with others who might enjoy this remarkable story. Your support helps us bring more engaging historical narratives to you. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time.